everyone welcome back for another video so in today's video i wanted to show you guys my entire wash day routine what i do when i'm washing my hair i am natural i've been natural since july not july since june of last year and so what i usually start off doing because i usually just wear my hair in a puff i don't do nothing to my hair like no like i don't do i really don't do any of this style most of the time it's in a puff or sometimes i just do like a twist out or something but what I'm doing, what I'm starting off by doing is detangling my hair because my hair is really thick. Um, by the time the week is up, my hair is like kind of matted and everything because it just kind of stays in that puff. I don't take it down or do too much manipulation with too much manip manipulation throughout the week. And um, how I detangle my hair, I use warm water. I just kind of spray warm water in sections. I part my hair in four sections. So first down the middle and then like each half is split into two in front and the back so what i i have warm water in a bottle and i'll spray it all over my hair and i'll comb it through and what i like to do is because my scalp gets really dry and like itchy i like to use apple cider vinegar on my scalp to kind of just clean to i guess to i guess y'all know i can't talk I like to use the apple cider vinegar to pre-clean my scalp of all like the gunk and everything that you know that I put in my hair when I'm doing my style and stuff. So that's what y'all gonna see me spraying through my hair and I'm gonna just you know massage it in my scalp and just rub it in. Y'all this is not a cute process so I don't know the stank face that I was making. Y'all this is not it's not a cute process my hair in my head be hurting because my hair is very 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 um What's that word i'm looking for? It's very i don't know. It's i'm very tender-headed. That's what it is I'm very very tender-headed and now i'm just about to twist it because that side is done So i'm just twisting that side up so I can move to the top portion once I move to the top portion I'm gonna skip over the wrist and I'm gonna, uh, y'all gonna, we gonna go into the shower and do co wash. I'm actually co washing my hair in this video because I had already washed my hair um, last weekend. So this weekend I'm co washing my hair. So that's what I'm actually doing, co washing my hair. But it's the same routine. It's literally instead of me washing my hair, I'm just co washing it. But it's the same routine that I do with my hair. And I literally, when I'm combing my hair, I always start with my ends because if not, I'm just gonna be yanking on my head. This stuff hurts like hell already, so I always, always, always start by combing out the ends of my head, and then I move up to the, um, move up the shaft. And I do have like very thin edges, especially on my right side, so I'm kind of in the process of growing back that, growing it back out because I don't know, I genetically, I, um, it, it is genetic for me for me to have thin edges because my mom have thin edges and my grandma do, so I'm just you know I have this oil, but I've been using it on my scalp to kind of help grow my hair back out on the scalp and it takes time so yeah so now here we are in the shower uh, i usually wash my hair in the shower or in the kitchen sink i just thought it would be easier for me to film this in the shower so that's why i'm in the shower and what i use to co-wash my hair at the moment i am using the aussie curls co-washing uh, the co-wash cleanser and that's what i'm using to co-wash my hair sometimes i use the aunt jackie's co-wash because i do like um i like the lather the lather that it makes and I like how it really cleans my scalp, but um, right now I'm using the Aussie co-wash. And I do this, uh, I do this for about three times. You're not gonna see this whole part because if I do that, then this video is gonna be entirely too long. So, but I do co-wash my hair at least two to three times. And y'all, do y'all ever just get that feeling like when y'all underneath the water and y'all scalp just starts to feel so good? Because my scalp, when I tell you my scalp, sometimes when I get like, when I get underneath my wa underneath the water, my scalp just be yelling at me like, sis, put me under some water. Like, I need some hydration. <laughs> so that's how my scalp is. And that's why I have to like do this. Trying to make it a habit to wash or be co-washing my hair or co-washing my hair every week because when i go to i usually do this two every two weeks but when i do every two weeks my scalp be yelling at me so i'm trying to get better with this uh with this routine of mine
So now that I'm done, it's time for my deep condition. And I like to use the olive oil deep conditioner by African Pride. Um, if y'all know of any other like good deep conditioners for type 4 hair, please let me know down in the comments because I be struggling trying to look for a good deep conditioner for my hair. And this stuff is not cheap, so I don't want to be wasting money, too much money on products or whatever. So, you know, let me down, let me know down in the comment section uh, what are some good deep conditioners to use for dry type 4 hair. I have low porosity hair, y'all. And I always do this in sections. I always um, deep condition. I do, um, I split my hair in half. Y'all going to see me split my hair in half a lot because that's what I pretty much do. But I split it in half and then I just take like chunky pieces. I probably do like either six or eight chunky pieces on each side. Cause I don't like, I don't, I don't got time to be doing this all day. I already don't like wash day as is. It's just too much work. It's a whole workout. So I do this in chunky sections. So I just, I repeat the same process all throughout my head. And I'm just gonna do one half on camera with you guys and I'll just do the other half off camera. Y'all, <laughs> my face looks so stank like. And I do like to finger detangle. I don't start to actually detangle my hair until I start putting all of my, uh, when I start doing my um, LCO method. And I do not like to neglect my edges, so I always put, whatever I do to my head, I always do to my edges. So I just, I'm just running some of their product on my edges to make sure that she gets her nutrition as well. And what I like to do when I'm done, I like to take my sweet almond oil, because that is the oil that I like to use on my hair, and I'm just gonna massage that all throughout my hair. And now that that side is done, I will be back. And I'll show you guys how what I do. I like to go in with this plastic shower cap. I keep it like a stack of them in my closet. And I sit underneath my hooded dryer for like 20, 25 minutes. Sometimes 30 minutes. It just really just depends on my mood. But what I actually, I think I sat there for like 20 minutes. And I rinsed the deep conditioner out with cold water. So now onto the twisting part. Um, right now I'm just kind of splitting my hair in um, half because I like to do the top and then I like to do the bottom. Again, I will not show you guys this entire process because this video will be too long if I do that. So for my leave-in conditioner, I like to use the African Pride leave-in conditioner. Um, I don't forgot which line it was, but I will list all the products that I use in my description box. So make sure to check that out if you guys want to know all the products that I use. And I don't, I don't have like, I don't have a defined curl pattern like some of these girls do. Some of these girls got beautiful, beautiful tight coils, a beautiful curl pattern or whatever, but I do not. So I like to twist my hair, um, right? So for my um, curl cream, I am using the Shea Moisture uh, Curl Curling Hanson Smoothie. 
So what I like to do, I do this in like little small, I like to twist my hair in like small, small, uh, small pieces. I'm taking this little brush that I like to use and I'm just brushing that product in my hair. And I already put my oil on my hair and now I'm taking the gel, the gel from that same line. And I'm, I just like to use like a little bit of the gel because I don't like to just, I don't like to plaster too much, uh, product on my hair because some, when it's dry then it kind of leaves these little white pieces on my hair and I don't like that and so now I'm just twisting my hair from top to bottom and la what I did I was snipping off my ends too because my ends were starting to look a little crazy so I was doing my twist really really small so when I got all the way down to the bottom like the little dangly piece that was at the end of my curl I just cut that off so it was real simple nothing fancy straightforward I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna do two, I think two more pieces and then I'll do the rest of my hair and I'll be back. So I'm just gonna let y'all watch it. I ain't gonna do too much talking. I will say this it took me about 40 to 45 minutes to fully twist my hair. My arms was hurting by the time I was done, but it is what it is, y'all. Snatural hair stuff is it's it's very tedious, but I made the decision to go natural, so I gotta do what I gotta do to take care of my hair. And I did transition. Um, I hadn't, like, when I decided to go natural, I had already hadn't had a perm for, like, I think two or three months or whatever. But I transitioned for 10 months, and then I decided to just cut off the rest of my hair because it was becoming too much. I couldn't do any styles with my hair. I couldn't really braid it like the way I wanted to. It was becoming real matted and tangly, so I told my mom to go ahead and cut that mess off. And, you know, I got it cut off last year in June, mid-June. So I've been natural since then. A lot of times I just keep my hair in a puff um, if, my, if I'm not wearing a wig. But a lot of times for my protective style, I will do um, either wigs. I wear wigs. I like to do my box braids sometime or I'll do like a crochet. But my main two things are wigs and box braids. So now that most of my head is done, um, I'm just going to do this little top portion so we can close out this video. Now that I'm all done, it is time for me to tend to my edges, y'all. I like to do my edges pretty last, uh, but now right, I think what I'm doing right here is putting the oil on my scalp and kind of just rubbing it in. And this is the back of my hair. And I am using the Alkali Naturals um, Essential, I think it's Essential 7 oil or whatever, but it's like their hair growth oil. And I like to use that on my scalp. I like to massage it into my scalp. I do this like maybe two times a day. Uh, now I'm just putting on my little satin bonnet. Satin, y'all. Satin is y'all's best friend. Do not cotton, even y'all's pillowcases. If y'all gonna sleep on a cotton pillowcase, make sure y'all have on a satin uh, bonnet. And that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Every